Well, Georgia, you seem to be holding a, uh, a glitzy trophy. Congratulations on winning the trophy once again. Thank you very much. I think um, this is one we're always keen to to retain because it is named after our super coach. And um, I think that gives us a little bit more impetus when we go out there and um, a little bit more to play for. But thrilled to have uh, come through a tough season, actually, a tough campaign, a lot of games in, in few days and lots mm. of travel. And um, I think, you know, the group have stood together really well and, and uh, experience in finals has probably got us over the line. Is there something extra special, like you say, the fact that it's called the Charlotte Edwards <laughs> Cup? You know, do you feel as players and you really want to galvanise yourself to go through that and uh, and uh, and make sure you bring it home? Uh, we call her Little Lottie, so uh, <laughs> we have to bring Little Lottie home. And uh, she sits at the Aegeus Bowl and we're really proud of it. We've got photos up of obviously winning her last year. And um, I think we know if we play our best cricket, we are one of the best teams in the country. And um, people, people talk about the Vipers and saying they know how to win. So... When it comes to trying to win the Charlotte Edwards Cup, absolutely, we want to take her home and, and make the coach proud and, and do it for everybody behind the scenes, really, because you know they're the, we're the face of the Vipers, the, the 11 that go out there, but there's so many people behind the scenes and, and, to, and to take Charlotte home is very special. And talk, let's talk through the, the victory today and yesterday. It's very odd to say that, isn't it? <laughs> you know, in a 20-over 20, 20 game. Uh, but uh, convincing, OK, you're probably going to be very modest about it. But for me, really convincing and a brilliant performance yesterday in particular to get off to a flying start and uh, be overnight four wickets down for the blaze. That was a brilliant performance, wasn't it? Yeah, our bowlers really set it up beautifully last night. I think Anya spoke well at the, the, the post-match press conference saying that, you know, we had a tough game against Thunder. But being under pressure in that and knowing we could hold our skills and execute, having a good look at the wicket and, and being out there and, and having gone through that, having a bit of momentum, we really took that into those 10 overs that we had last night and, and to get them four down. Um, we knew we, we got their top four out as well, which was really important. So um, that set it up beautifully today. And then the batters uh, were sensational. Danny White and Mai to get us off to that start. When you're chasing a low total, you can get a bit jittery on the bench. And um, no, they, they, they sealed the deal for us. Right, I just before I finish off, two more questions. Um, one of them is your scorching catch in the semis. <laughs> Brilliant. It was like go-go gadget arms. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember that programme, but uh, yeah, nice to take a great catch, isn't it? Yeah, I always love to contribute in the field. And, um, uh, you know, I stay in the ring because of, of this old body and not, not got the legs the youngsters have got. But, uh, you know, when the... the the bowlers are putting in the hard yards and then they shout catch you think oh gosh I better make an effort at this and my legs weren't moving so I just thought I have to stick out my arm and thankfully it's stuck and it, it looks a lot better than it was it was a bit lazy actually <laughs> <laughs> too modest um